Will Jordan, better known as The Critical Drinker, has built a strong following by dissecting blockbuster films and TV shows with sharp humor and cutting critiques. He's made a name for himself by exposing poor storytelling, weak character development, and formulaic production and high-budget projects, often asking the question, who asked for this? Or decrying that the movie or TV show is nothing but cookie-cutter content. So, when he ventured into filmmaking with a 42-minute proof of concept for his book series Rogue Elements, the expectations for some people was understandably high. After all, if he spent years pointing out where others have failed, surely he would bring a higher standard to his own creation. Unfortunately, Rogue Elements feels more like a first-year college film project than a polished concept, struggling in almost every aspect of storytelling and production. The first and most glaring issue with Rogue Elements is its storytelling, or lack thereof. The narrative is painfully shallow and riddled with problems right from the opening scenes. Characters are introduced without any meaningful setup or context, leaving the audience wondering who these people are and why they matter. Instead of organically weaving the characters into the plot, they simply appear, often without explanation or purpose. This haphazard approach to character introductions is one of the most basic errors in storytelling, yet it permeates the entire proof of concept. The structure of the story is another major flaw. It feels less like a cohesive narrative and more like a series of disconnected events strung together with no real sense of progression. There's no clear cause and effect relationship between scenes, no stakes to engage the audience, and no emotional through line to anchor the story. It's the classic, and then this happens style of storytelling that lacks depth, nuance, or purpose. For someone who has spent years critiquing narrative laziness in Hollywood, Jordan's execution here is shockingly amateurish. Even the dialogue, which should have been an area of strength given Jordan's background as a writer, is disappointingly bland and cookie cutter. Characters speak in generic lines that reveal nothing about their personalities or motivations, and much of the dialogue feels like filler rather than a meaningful exchange. Another major mistake made by Jordan and the creative team is not introducing the main character early and in a way that makes the audience care for who he is and what he's trying to achieve. We don't see Ryan Drake until 10 minutes into the pilot, and when we do see him, there's nothing that endears us to him. This is the kind of creative error that will have any major production company giving a thumbs down on the project without further review. In contrast, one of the best examples of character introductions is in the movie Tombstone, where the first three minutes are used to introduce the antagonist, followed right away by Wyatt Earp, played by Kurt Russell, who saves his horse from a man who's beating him. It hurts, don't it? It's as good as any protagonist introduction there is in any movie. Rogue Elements is a great example of what not to do in your pilot, with writers that seem to lack the most basic skills in writing a screenplay. The 42 minutes is an all-tell, with very little show kind of storytelling, which is again, the sign of someone who does not know how to tell a visual story. This lack of compelling dialogue robs the characters of any individuality and makes it nearly impossible to connect with them on an emotional level. For a project meant to showcase storytelling prowess, this is an unforgivable shortfall. The pacing of Rogue Elements further drags the project down. At 42 minutes, it's not a particularly long piece, yet it feels like it drags on interminably. Scenes are drawn out with no sense of urgency or tension, and transitions between moments are clunky and abrupt. Instead of building momentum, the story lumbers forward, leaving the audience disengaged and indifferent. It's hard not to wonder how the critical drinker himself would review this pacing if it came from Disney or HBO Max likely with the same scathing criticism he reserves for projects he finds dull and uninspired. The production quality, despite a 300,000 euro budget, also leaves much to be desired. While budget constraints are understandable, Rogue Elements doesn't make the most of its resources. The cinematography is flat and uninspired, the sets feel generic and cheap, and the visual style lacks any distinctive flair. This bare-bones approach undermines the entire project, making it look like an underfunded student film rather than a professional proof of concept. It's puzzling how so little artistic creativity was applied to a project meant to showcase the creator's vision. The acting is another weak point. Performances range from stiff to downright unconvincing, with many of the cast members struggling to deliver their lines naturally. 
Accents feel exaggerated to the point of distraction, and the lack of chemistry between characters further weakens the narrative. As a proof of concept meant to pitch the idea of a larger series, this 42-minute edit does little to convince viewers that the writer, director, and creative team possess a solid grasp of how to craft a compelling television story. Writing novels and screenplays requires vastly different skill sets, and translating a script into a cohesive visual narrative is no simple task. Unfortunately, the critical story elements, such as character introductions, motivations, storytelling techniques, and scene progression, fall to the level of a first-year film student, leaving the project feeling amateurish and unpolished. Perhaps the most ironic and troubling aspect of Rogue Elements is how it embodies the very issues Will Jordan has spent years criticizing. He's often pointed out how big-budget productions rely on formulaic storytelling, uninspired characters, and glossy visuals to mask deeper flaws. Yet, Rogue Elements fails in these same areas, and in some cases, even worse. For all the time Jordan has spent deconstructing Hollywood's failings, one would expect his own project to rise above these pitfalls. But instead, it seems to fall right into them. One has to wonder how Jordan would assess Rogue Elements if it had been produced by a major studio. Based on his critiques, it's easy to imagine him calling out the weak narrative, lackluster dialogue, and uninspired direction with his trademark wit. But as the creator, it seems he's unable to apply the same scrutiny to his own work. This is a common pitfall for creators, being the harshest critic of others while failing to recognize the shortcomings in their own projects. The biggest disappointment of Rogue Elements is that it doesn't just fail as a piece of entertainment. It actively undermines the critical drinker's credibility as a critic. If you're going to spend years vehemently pointing out the flaws in other people's work, you should at least be able to demonstrate the principles of good storytelling in your own projects. Instead, Rogue Elements feels like a collection of generic ideas cobbled together without any real sense of vision or craftsmanship. It's not just a failure, it's a missed opportunity to prove that the lessons Jordan preaches can be applied successfully in practice. Ultimately, Rogue Elements is a glaring example of how difficult it is to translate criticism into creation. While Jordan has proven adept at deconstructing movies and TV shows, building something from the ground up is a vastly different challenge, one that requires not just knowledge of storytelling, but the ability to execute it with precision and artistry. Rogue Elements falls short in nearly every area, from story structure to dialogue to production quality, leaving little to recommend. The saddest part of this project is that it could have been so much more. With a strong concept, a cohesive vision, and more polished execution, Rogue Elements could have served as a compelling showcase for Jordan's creative talents. Instead, it feels like a rushed, underwhelming effort that does little more than highlight the gap between critique and creation. For fans of The Critical Drinker, it's a sobering reminder that even the sharpest critic can stumble when it's their turn to create. I find it difficult to see how The Critical Drinker can continue his bombastic critiques of films and TV shows after showcasing skills and abilities that fall far below those of the creators he so aggressively targets. How can someone who is so harshly critical of others' creative endeavors justify such disdain when their own attempt at creating a project results in an uninspired, subpar production. Perhaps it's time for Will Jordan, the critical drinker, to take a seat at the table for a slice of humble pie. His foray into the world of creation has highlighted his limitations, and it might have been wiser for him to remain firmly in the realm of critique rather than stepping into the arena of filmmaking. It reminds me of a quote from Mark Twain, it's better to keep your mouth closed and let people think you are a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. There is nothing new or innovative about Rogue Elements. It makes me ask the question, who asked for this? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Pop Rageous.